welcome, 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 welcome to Trucker's Kitchen. So I just wanted to give you a few meal prep ideas and then also tell you how to make a recipe. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make some sausage gravy. But first off, let me give you some food ideas. Before we left and came on the road, I prepped a few of these items, cheeseburgers and a meatloaf. So that way, when I was finishing up driving my shift, Scott could pull out the convection oven, pop them in the oven, and when we came to a stop, it would be done. So today, let me show you what this is all about. We have some, ooh, shocked myself, shocking. We have some good old bacon cheeseburgers. So I wrapped them in some parchment here, there's Scott. I wrapped them in parchment paper and then in foil, and they were still raw hamburger meat. And the same thing with the meatloaf. Here's the meatloaf, it's already, it's a little smashed because I stacked some stuff on it. Wrapped them in the pouches, and Scott pulled out the convection oven, set up here on the table, and then just threw it in there. And now they're done, and when they were almost done, he unwrapped the foil pouch, threw cheese, threw bacon on it, put it back in there, and then after it was done, I warmed up some corn, side of corn. And here's another idea that we did, baked beans. You can get these little tiny cans of baked beans. It's about a dollar a can. Um, they have different kinds, so as the, the burgers were cooking, we just threw the can, the whole can, inside there and let the beans start cooking. I would suggest, though, not pulling the top off all the way. Just kind of vent it. That way it doesn't get too hot and then bust the can. And how do we manage all this hot stuff? Let me see. Where did I, where did I set it? <laughs> Hold on here. We lost it. Oh, okay. So I highly recommend some of gloves. These are great because then I can just put the of glove on and pick up the entire convection oven and set it on the ground and then we can eat so it is a big help okay the way we went about uh, temperature wise and cook time and all that kind of stuff uh, fired up the convection oven let it get up to about 400 degrees put it in there for about 25 minutes uh, all sealed up and then opened up the foil on the top put the cheese and the bacon on top of it turned it up to broil let it sit for about another five or ten minutes and there you go. Good to go. Ooh, I just toasted our buns. Yum, yum. Not to do. Like I said, let's pull this down, plate it all up. I warmed up us some corn and some baked beans to go on the side. So that's a awesome yummy meal. And with the meatloaf, I'm going to make mashed potatoes and green beans. And I already have gravy made up in a little Tupperware container. I think it was the mashed potatoes. So those are some meal ideas. Hopefully, that's easy and tells you kind of how we pre-prep some stuff and then just you know makes it being on the road a little bit easier and if you're a single driver there's no problem to be able to do the same thing just pull over on an exit ramp throw your stuff in keep driving hit another exit ramp then you can eat so it works out good for us because our truck doesn't hardly ever stop after we get done eating we'll go take a shower you know if you're a single driver you got 10 hours you got time to cook yeah we don't you really can do have it time. But all this, all this good food is made from 100% uh, grass-fed beef that we get a quarter of a beef at the end of the year every year. Yep. Put it it's in organic, the freezer. Yep. GMO-free, antibiotic-free. Yep. It's the best quality meat you can get. Mm -hmm. Same with the corn. The corn is organic. Hurry up. I'm, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> all right, guys. So next, I'm going to show you how to make some sausage gravy to go on a breakfast bowl. All right, guys. So I'm going to teach you how to make a quick sausage gravy. So the sausage is already browned up in the pan and I took some back out and put it in the fridge for later in the week and I just put a small amount in here and I left the grease in the pan. The grease is very important, okay? So all you're going to need is some flour. I have some flour in this container and then some milk, salt, pepper, and that's it. Alright, so I'm just going to dust this sausage with the flour so it puts a thin layer over the top of it. Alright. So it just makes it white. And now I'm gonna mix it in so the grease absorbs that flour. And the reason you're doing that is so that your gravy doesn't get lumpy. Now all we have to do is add in our milk. And you want it to cover the bottom up. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want with you know, the sausage uh, ratio. So you can see now, I'll zoom in in just a second though for you so you can get a close up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk and then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Now you can use salt and pepper to taste 
we like it really seasoned, so we use a decent amount. I should say I use a decent amount. So I'm going to go ahead and put about that much in for you. Just sprinkle it right over the top. Alright. And then we're just going to put the pepper in. Now it's already starting to boil. So you do want this to come to a boil because that is how it's going to thicken. And then you're just going to scrape it back and forth and let this cook up. It only takes just a few minutes, so just keep scraping it every once in a while and it will thicken. So if you want it thinner, you can just add a little bit more milk. Uh, I would not recommend adding any more flour in it because then it's going to get lumpy. So start with a little bit of milk and keep adding your milk in. So that's a simple sausage gravy and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. We're going to put it over some hash browns and some eggs and make it like a breakfast bowl over with gravy over it. Right here. You can see how nice and thick it is. Alright, so now I'm going to put it over our, our scramble. So we did all of this in one pan. So we cooked everything here. First we cooked the sausage, then we threw in the hash browns and the peppers, and then I threw some eggs in, and this is what it looks like prior. And now I'm just going to top it off. So then I put this in the on the plates, put it in the microwave to keep it warm. And then I put the sausage back in the pan and made the gravy. So just one pan for all of it. Scott's over here patiently waiting. <laughs> He's ready for this good grub. So hopefully that helped make some awesome sausage gravy. I know we love it. as we can. And now, remember, always pre-soak your pan. So, I have everything prepped over here in the passenger seat. I'm just going to fill this up with some water. It can soak when we're eating. Back here, she says, Hurry up! Lily wants some camera time. I'm hungry. Yeah, she says, Hurry it up! All right, guys. So, until next time, enjoy the adventures, stay safe, and we'll see ya. Eat well, eat well. Bye. Give me my dreams.